Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell by the expression on my face, but I'm a happy bitsy right now because Satisfactory 1.0 has just been announced with its official release date, which is, drum roll please, brrr, September 10th of this year, 2024. So make make sure you book it off work. If, you, if you're if you a hardcore Satisfactory player and you want to just enjoy the game and take a week off take two weeks off maybe take the whole of september off uh and uh yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be a blast i am i've literally just come off the uh, the live stream which is such a rush so if you tuned in and watched all that i appreciate you um and we did a bit of a breakdown we kind of went over it uh, the trailer frame by frame to see the new items that was in there the new buildings the mark 3 minor rework which i'm going to talk to you about as well uh, but first i'm going to show you the uh the my first initial reaction to the trailer uh so enjoy this and then after that we'll get straight into a breakdown all right here we go the big satisfactory announcement eight seven six five four three two one uh oh we're fading to black what is happening Run to that toilet! Run to that f toilet! <laughs> Run to that toilet, baby! So yeah, there, there it is. The, <laughs> the whole toilet flush meme. Obviously, if you're new to Satisfactory, it's been a meme around the community for so long. Um, and ever since we knew, and uh, these past two years, I've been mentioning, like, imagine if they announced the 1.0 with a toilet flush at the end. Like... The toilet flush happened and then boom, the date comes. It wasn't exactly that because the whole video was about the, the toilet flush, but <laughs> it's been something so small we've all wanted. It's it's ridiculous because we as the satisfactory community, right, have, uh, have been memeing a bit for so long. So if you are new and you want to, wait, are you all excited for a toilet flush? Like, it's been in the community forever. We're, the the community is a bunch of memers. Um, but yeah, there's a lot to go over in this video. So. Uh, I want to hear about all your comments and everything. Um, we've we tried to dial in everything uh, about possible the Mark III minor rework, which is very very subtle. Um, which um, I'm interested in your thoughts as well. And um, there's a lot of cool other things in here, and obviously the main point, which was that big ass building in the middle. Um, I've been trying to figure out the size of it and all this kind of stuff. So without further ado, let's jump into the first screenshot of the video and try to break down what we can see in here. Potential new items, which we will know there's new items, but all that kind of good stuff. So without further ado, let's jump into this. Okay, so as you can probably already tell, we are in Photoshop right here, just because I'm not going to do any form of crazy editing, zooming, panning, all that kind of stuff. It's just going to be me, my paintbrush, and an image on screen, which is going to be taken from the video, which I've downloaded from the press kit. Um, so all I can do is I can circle things and all this kind of stuff, and it gives me access to zoom in like this on the fly without me doing anything crazy in editing, so I can get this video out to you faster, and hopefully it makes it a bit more understandable as well. So... The first thing we can see in this image is obviously this big old building right here. It is massive and we actually worked out it's around six 
uh, foundations in length. The reason we can tell is because obviously you got these uh, grooves here, which are the separations of the wall, and they will then go into the foundations, right? So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and this would be in half across here and possibly half across there. It's going to be like six in length we, we don't know the width we don't know what this building is going to be designed to do we, all we know is it has a solid output it also has a liquid output and if we actually follow this conveyor belt along here it takes us over to this item right here which we don't have a clue what this is um it looks funny shaped i don't know what angle we're on but we'll get back to this later because there's another screenshot where we think we see this so we don't know what this is making, but what we can confirm with this building is what it's inputting. And if you actually look right here, we can actually see our good old friend, the quantum computer. Uh, you can see maybe three of them. So there's one there, one there, and one there, and one just sneaking in there. Um, the quantum computers. I don't have a clue what this item is. Maybe this is new, uh, or if you guys recognize it, but I don't. I thought it might have been, and some people in the Twitch chat um, it's literally coming from down here from this storage container. So it comes along here, then goes up a lift and comes along there. So I don't have a clue what that is. Um, and right down here, we can see some some more kind of ingots. Uh, these look like bronze, but we'll get back to that as well because that's in another screenshot where I think it's a bit more clearer. It could also be something related to Samor, but I'm, I'm thinking Samor is going to be more blue and purplish, um, but we don't know what that is um so then yeah this whole building is a uh, big boy we don't know what it's going to it could be a hydrogen collider or whatever um but the, on the output side of thing you might have noticed here's the pipe that comes out which comes down here and we don't we don't know what this is and we can see it's literally glowing pink um so who knows what that could potentially be um we've also got this down here we i believe these are ai limiters but we could it be entirely wrong uh, and then also down here, we've also got these new, um, maybe it looks like a fence, but it could also be uh, new potentially looking steel beams um, that we can unlock in the man. But you can actually see the railings right here and you can see them kind of go down. So maybe it's like a half kind of fence sort of thing. Um, and then we don't know where these are coming from. Like, we know this is an edited video, so not put kind of put this together. Uh, we did have a lot of people mention in stream that why are these belts coming? Well, why are these lifts uh, coming from underground? Uh, and I'm thinking it's just more of a command block. Uh, underneath here, there's probably a sugar ton of spaghetti that he's just threw together and all this kind of stuff. But if you don't know what command blocks in Unreal Engine, all this kind of stuff is basically a machine, uh, something you can put down and go, okay, I want this to spawn this item per se kind of thing, right? Um, hence the reason, if you remember the, the the big old golden ball you saw in the desert with the updates eight trailer, um, with the whole power grid and all that stuff, you saw that golden ball. That was a unlimited power ball kind of thing in for Unreal Engine for developers to use. Um, there's nothing down here that I saw differently. Um, if we have to look over here, I'm guessing these just, these look like modular engines, um, but I could be really wrong, but. We looking at them now because I've got the high high uncompressed video uh, screenshot. Um, it looks a lot clearer, like it, it is kind of like module engines. Um, and then if we look over here, which is the and the main piece, which I kind of want to focus on, is this, right? So we have this right here, and we have this right here. I think these are two separate buildings, and we already know this is a miner. And people might be going, okay, that's just a normal miner. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you into the game of Satisfactory and no miners actually look like this. Well, actually two and three do. But if you look here, uh, right now, these are like metal um, kind of rails, right? Uh, and a tier one does not have them. Sorry, it doesn't have these um, like guards here, them guards. Oh, and then the tier two and tier three have pillars that come down here right like these shields and they color the same as what these do so whatever this is they i think i firmly believe this is a mark three re rework uh, because i have a feeling if we look we can see the output right here yes it's going straight into a smelter right there 
but I do believe that this is a bigger block. I think this comes along here like this and comes down here like that, right? And whatever this building is here is blocking the second output here. That's what I have a funny feeling it is. And then this goes up into a tower here to be our miner, right? So I have a feeling this is a Mark III rework giving us dual outputs. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly take you into the game. Right, so I've just put down a Mark I miner. You can tell it already looks similar to the one that's in the image. The only difference is it doesn't have the kind of like the chevrons, the hazard symbol on the side here, right? Because if we go back into the image, it looks very similar, except it doesn't have these right here. So if we look at a Mark uh, II miner, so if we go back into it and I change to a Mark II, it doesn't have, it has that, these shields here. So if we remove them, then I, then I was like, okay, it's got these, the Chevron kind of stuff here, but it doesn't have these. So I decided, okay, let's try and change the color. So let's put it to black. Okay, the uh, this down here stays black and this goes black, right? Because if we look back at the image, we can see this bit is like a framework and then this bit down here is orange. But if we go back into game, I can't get these to be the color that we want them. Even if I put them to black, paint them in there, we can't change the this so it's a framework or anything like that. And then with tier three, uh, if we upgrade the uh, to tier three, it's exactly the same. We can't paint um, this bit and this bit separately. Um, so the closest thing it is in the, in the image is a Mark 1 Miner. Maybe they've redone the Mark 1 Miner visually, but um, it, as you can tell, it's it doesn't have these chevrons here. So I do believe, uh, for now, this is potentially the Mark 3 rework. Um, and I do believe that this could be a dual input. And then when it comes to this right here, I don't have a clue what this is. If you look at it, it looks like it could potentially be a train, right? Because if we look on the... The outline of this, we can bring this down here. It could be a train, blah, 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 blah. Um, but we just can't see the pistons here, the like the engine here and all that kind of stuff, right? And on the flaps on top. Uh, but it's like, you see, either this is a new building because here's this pink stuff right here, this pink liquid, which is shown down here in this right here, right? So maybe this is a new building as well. Um, we don't know what it is. It's definitely not a part of what this is because I feel like this is too far. There's, there's definitely a gap between these two and maybe whatever this is, is being fed by the second hole here, uh, the second miner, and it's coming around into this machine, maybe. But it's all speculation and all that kind of stuff, right? But that's my only thing I can think about here, right? So I do believe that this is possibly a Mark III rework. Uh, to the thing we know it's kind of coming because we it's been talked about and speculated so many times on the dev streams and all this kind of stuff uh so i do believe uh 90 percent that this is a mark three minor rework and then the next thing i was looking at was the window here to see if this is something we're able to freely place very similar to what, in, what we got in satisfactory plus where we can free place a window in six uh kind of like no sorry i'll say maybe like 12 individual spots on one wall and then I, I, I went into the game and kind of had a look and yeah it looks similar to this uh, i tried to see if there was any like height differences uh, in regards to like the the wall here uh, but it doesn't look like it um, it looks new enough bang on. I, think, I feel like if there is any disproportion kind of like things to this, it's because of the render distance. Uh, the next thing I noticed that is a lot of people were saying this looks like a new door. Uh, this right here is a, the um, equipment workshop. Uh, obviously, this is the door to the equipment workshop with the ladder on the back. Uh, all they've done is they've just put it into a doorway with beams uh, going around to cover the edges. Um, and then I don't know what's going on with this mess because we're looking at this and we try we, we try to find out as much as we can. We can already see heat sinks. We can see um, a turbo fuel. We can see concrete. We can see Caterium wire. Um, there's a bunch of stuff in here. There's screws. Um, and I'm just trying to feel like what's going on up here. I feel like they're trying to throw us off with some stuff up here. Uh, cable. Um, and all that kind of stuff. We've got rotors down here, screws there, uh, more heat sinks. Oh, um, so up here, I'm we try to look around. There's even plastic there. Uh, there's like a multitude of items in there, which either they've hid something in there to try and because they know how much we like to bloody break these videos down, 
Um, and other than that, I'm not seeing anything else in here. Um, yeah, we can see the overclocking. We can see a blender, uh, assemblers, copy sheets, quick wire. Um, and that is really, really it in this scene. Even though this one gives us the most information on a, a big overview, the main focus is this as a okay here's a new building for you but then this i don't know if this was a little planted in the background or what but this kind of pink stuff here uh, i don't know what it could be um because either this pink liquid is coming out of this machine going into this buffer and going back around but it looks like it could be going that way maybe um but we can't really tell but this little pink thing here i don't know um and then we have, like I said at the earlier on, we have these right here, which is a, an ingot. It looks like copper, but it's not. Uh, it's more goldy brown, but not too gold to be Caterium. So it could be maybe bronze, maybe another uh, another uh, ingot. So if you've got any comments on what you think that is, let me know. The next image I want to look at is just this straight on. We can we already know we've already seen the new um, Pioneer, uh, the new Pioneer reskin, I should say, for 1.0 on Unreal Engine 5. And then we come into here and we see a couple of other things. And this is where I believe this right here is the stuff we saw on the uh, the other. Uh, scene with the what's coming out of that new machine which is kind of like separated where this looks more piled up because this image right here is more towards down here because he i think the pioneer is somewhere down here like down this bottom of the, of the corner because we can kind of see this sign here right uh i don't know why i'm alt tabbing over but if we look here we can see here's the sign here's the uh all this stuff and we've got all these new fences here we've got batteries it's definitely just off camera from that. Uh, but yeah, we've got these new fences here, um, these new railings, which you can see have a more thicker base on the bottom like this, but then they've got like a mesh top. So it's like a frame that goes around and there's only one scene you can kind of see this, but it looks like they are um, with just a mesh kind of normal cross kind of frame like this. And you can't see it until he's the pioneer is sprinting um so yeah so that's near enough much it in here you can kind of see rotors up here but nothing else in here we've got yeah nu nuclear uh silos at the back uh and that is near enough it in this image so this is where the next image gets interesting because this is where we see this item again this one right here this golden whatever it is it does look like some form of ingot at first glance you would think it would be solid biofuel but we know solid biofuel sticks in a triangle and is in thingy, right? So we already know we have uh, aluminium scrap, screws, rotors, uh, quick wire. But then whatever this item is here, we don't have a clue. Um, but it could be bronze. It could be a new form of ore. It could be a new form of kind of, I don't know, but it looks like it's ingots. Like if you look at all the other ingots, they're all in a very usual shape. But the only difference is, is there's not much of a this big of a gap in the middle. And then the next thing about this scene you might have noticed from here, you can't really tell straight away unless you look way over here. And that is these new items here, which we'll get to again later on because we get to see a clear, clear image of what these are. Um, but it wasn't until we come back later that they're actually coming out of a packager. And we can kind of see them coming out of here. They look kind of look like nobelists right now. And there is gas here as well. So... Is this a little bit of a, a thing where we can package gas or something? Or is this just a reflection that's coming off screen from this way? But well, I don't know if this is gas is just not useful if it's being if it's being extracted inside of here. We have these new kind of uh, bottles that's being um, packaged. So we don't know what is inside this. There's no indicator on this um, pipe. Uh, but all we know is that these items are coming out. But we'll get a clearer image in a second. Um, so let's move on to the next image. Actually, before we go, there's actually frames and gunpowder over in that direction. So, and then the hub, we already know it's changed. The interior's changed, but the exterior has not. And then we can kind of just see some storages in the back and all that kind of good stuff uh, over here. Um, oh, crotch shot. <laughs> Controlled Z too far back there. And then we're going to come to this one. This is where we can get a clearer, clearer look at what this is. You can kind of see now... There is kind of a mesh towards these fences and it does look like it goes all the way through so this mesh 
So th this black railing goes all the way through, even through these orange uh, textures. You start, this this is more of an uh, like an outer layer, and then these railings kind of go all the way through. So it's like a uh, a good a good tall height um, to block yourself from falling off or anything, which is kind of cool. I wasn't expecting any form of new railings. Uh, we can kind of see all the standard uh, items again. Here's these uh, items again. These new ores. Uh, they keep creeping up everywhere. Um, we don't know what they are. Um, and then we can also see the rods back there as well. Uh, they look like rods. Uh, but these we're going to get to in a second because the better sh the next shot is a better clearer. We've got screws, rotors um, up here. Uh, and nothing much has changed on here. Um, from this trailer, I can't really tell if they've maybe done some form of support with um, Lumen. And uh, yeah, I can't really tell because the lighting looks different. When you play a game too much and you, you kind of notice them little things, but you can't really tell. Over here, it looks like we've got the electromagnetic fields, uh, the uh, recipes being made here. Um, they're coming out pretty close because there's another shot where they kind of look too close together and you can't really tell what they are. So yeah. Right, so the next image is with the close-up of this uh, new item right here, which we obviously don't know what it is yet. But uh, a lot of people were speculating in the Twitch chat that it could be something uh, that you use for um, another building, uh, a placeable, um, which could be for teleportation, uh, maybe. You kind of step on these kind of thing. Uh, but it's more than likely going to be something that you get you use to build something because I don't think there's any item that's in satisfactory that you can make on a belt that you can use except the beacons and all that kind of stuff right obviously beacons are being removed but there's not many items you can actually put on a belt automate and utilize as a an item except like nobelisks and all this kind of stuff right so uh, I'm just kind of thinking what this could potentially be uh, and I I have a feeling it's it's definitely going to be tier nine stuff. Um, I still believe nine and ten is still coming, and we all these new machines. But a teleporter could kind of work, I guess. Next up is the golden pipe right here. We can clearly see this is a golden pipe. I do believe this is probably going to be a skin, uh, which we can get inside the awesome shop, so we can paint our um, pipes. Either that, or like I said. They've maybe done some work with Lumen, um, and it's just something on the lines of that. But I do highly believe that this is just a a different type of skin we can put down on pipes. Like maybe they give us gold, silver, kind of platinum, kind of looking uh, pipes, and maybe it just gives us that bit of shine where normal pipes don't, because it's more of a matte color. Um, but who knows? I feel like this could be, is going to be more of a, a something we can do down with a customizer. In this next shot, this is where we can kind of see these items again, which are these down here, which are these. Uh, as you can see, it looks like a, some form of lid. We know it comes out of the packager. We can see it's got handles right here and something like, like it turns. So maybe something very sealant. Um, it could be just be a new package design for a new item that we've been given as a liquid. It could be that, um, but it does look like it potentially has a warning symbol on it. Kind of, it does look like an explosive symbol. I don't know if you what it is in the rest of the world, but an explosive symbol usually it comes in a triangle with a little bit of a uh, kind of like this, and then blah, 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 that kind of thing. <laughs> um, but yeah, that is it's a different one, but it comes out of a packager, so maybe it is something to do with the gas uh, and whatnot. Um, I don't know if this is just an editing thing as well, because I know how Snut likes to edit his videos. But if we actually just go into actually the, the part, the video part here, we can see the whole color change. We don't know if this is due to um, just lighting. So if I just quickly take a screenshot of this real quick and then put that in here, um, we can see this whole area has now gone red. So's this one. We it doesn't look like it's sunset or sunrise. So I'm trying to feel where these lights could be coming from. Um, he might he might have just put fake lighting in the actual save just to kind of help the trailer along a little bit. Because if we look up here, we can see that this is giving off a blue light, which never normally does, and we can see it casting down on to the actual um, hub itself. So it might just be a visual thing he's added for 1.0 sparkliness kind of thing. Same with this red light in here, but uh, whatever this red lighting is, it is coming from up here because it's hitting here and it's also hitting here, but not hitting on these sides. 
Um, so it's something that's just been casted down, uh, which had me a little bit confused why it was coming in, but then it also had me second guessing that it is maybe a light source from a tall light, but we didn't see any in the trailer, uh, is when you actually see him run, run towards him, you see the light fade in like you would if you was a pioneer running around. So you can kind of see it fade there, and then it kind of comes in like the lights are being rendered. And then uh, in here, we just have the uh, the new inside of the um, the hub, which looks a lot cleaner, super clean, by the way. Uh, and it has the posters, which are them posters, I think, are still available on the uh, the merch store. Um, and he just looks over. So and then that was it. And then we get the big announcement at the end. Toilet flush. <laughs> um coming september 10th so yeah now with that being announced september 10th we i don't know what the videos are going to be like going forward in regards to satisfactory and the satisfactory plus playthrough um because maybe what i should do now is take a little bit of a break from satisfactory until maybe end of august uh, and start prepping and maybe just do more of the announcement because they are going to be releasing more announcements coming up in the next couple of weeks maybe some like maybe talk about this new machine what it's called what it is what it does what tier is it going to be in uh, did we spot the miner are they going to confirm that it is the miner uh, what are these new machines these pipes is there something new with the lighting and all this kind of stuff so um maybe all of that will get well we know it's going to get announced over this next couple of weeks so hopefully we'll do breakdowns on them and maybe that's the only satisfactory content we'll do forward now until the release and then we will be starting a brand new save um which i'll be doing like i normally do live streaming it uh, creating save checkpoints then recording it blah -de -blah, -de blah like we normally do for the youtube series um but hopefully you all enjoyed this video and let me know if you're excited for 1.0 as much as i am because it's been my like my baby this and it's it is kind of like a, a yin and yang kind of thing because it is exciting that it is in 1.0 but i'm also sad because it has feel like it's been the end but it's also the start of a new kind of era for satisfactory because it's been what five years now and yeah that is extremely long for some people and all that kind of stuff so i can understand it but um I'm just excited now to see what comes with it. So keep smiling and I'll see you in 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 in, in, in another video. <laughs> Bits is a spoon. Is a spoon. Oh my god, I've got so many bloody things I need to close here now. Oh my god, close.